All right, boys and girls, here's that bombshell I promised you, and I want you to take a look at these beady, beady eyes. And unless Mr. Mr. F Mr. Ford has been snorting something, or Lisa Thompson has been sorting something, something is definitely wrong. And we want you to listen very carefully. All right? And we're going to walk you through like it's babies just taking their first bottle so you, you, you will have no doubts and you will have common sense. So this is Premier Ford making an announcement about long-term purchases of masks in books. They're safe. Early in the pandemic, we mobilized our manufacturing might to make the masks, gloves, face shields, hand sanitizer, and other supplies we need. And this happened in a matter of months, not years. The response has been incredible and inspiring. Ontario businesses have moved fast. They innovated, they adapted. And now it's time for the government to do the same. We need to be smarter about getting those critical supplies into the hands of the frontline healthcare heroes. During the pandemic, I pushed our system. I pushed the government to move at the speed of the private sector. And we need to make sure we're spending tax dollars wisely. When your family is shopping, you go to a place, let's say like, like Costco, and buy groceries in bulk so you can save money. Then there's the Canadian Tire example. Canadian Tire, they stock about 50,000 products and only have about 65 people in their procurement team. Compare that to the Ontario government. Now just remember, Canadian Tire, 65 procurement officers, purchasing agents. In Ontario, you ready for this one? We have 7,000, I'm gonna repeat that, 7,000 entities involved in procurement. That's unacceptable. Right. So that's the first part of Premier Ford playing with numbers. Because to compare Canadian Tire to Ontario, Canadian Tire, I believe, is not even going to be one thousandth of what Ontario is. So if they have 65 procurement office and Ontario is a thousand times bigger than Canadian Tire, then you are looking at where 65, 1,000, so you're looking at 65,000 procurement officers is what they'd have. Premier Ford says they have only 7,000. 7, so that's a small number. Now, if Ontario is even, say, 100 times bigger than Canadian Tire, which is very, very unlikely, then Ontario having 7,000 procurement officers make common sense. But Premier Ford is throwing out big numbers to put you in that level. But here comes the bombshell from Premier Ford. And this is totally disturbing. And clearly, we can and must do better. So today, I'm here to announce that we are establishing Supply Ontario. This is an all new centralized procurement agency to help us leverage our buying power and save taxpayers money. Centralizing procurement, buying in bulk, just makes sense. My friends, when the pandemic started, it became very clear that the government's procurement system was struggling to keep up. And this is something we need to address. Whether we're ordering printer paper or PPE, we can get a better price with a bulk order and we can coordinate our procurement more strategically. And the savings are absolutely huge. As the government of Ontario, we can save between one to two billion, with a B, one to two billion dollars <laughs> a year to start. That's one or two billion dollars more for critical services like healthcare and education. Supply Ontario will help us deliver the best value for the people of Ontario and ensure we have a steady and quality supply of our critical products like PPE. It will also make it easier for businesses of all sizes to work with the government of Ontario. From the mom and pop shops to larger companies, we want to purchase and promote more Ontario made products. In fact, I'm excited to announce today, we have signed a contract with PrimeMed to produce 50. All right, so you all ready for it? This is Premier Doug Ford of Ontario. This is I'm um, Kevin Clark, the deputy leader of the people the People's Political Party of Ontario. 
And Premier Ford is telling us about a contract he signs for bulk orders. Listen. 15 million surgical masks a year. Do you hear that? Five years. Do you hear that? Primed has chosen. All right, let's back up again. As the government of Ontario, we can save between one to two billion, with a B, one to two billion dollars a year to start. That's one or two billion dollars more for critical services like health care and education. Supply Ontario will help us deliver the best value for the people of Ontario and ensure we have a steady and quality supply of our critical products like PPE. It will also make it easier for businesses of all sizes to work with the government of Ontario. From the mom and pop shops to larger companies, we want to purchase and promote more Ontario made products. In fact, I'm excited. All right, so Premier Ford is excited. I am going to tell you what Premier Ford is going to say. Premier Ford is going to say he signed a contract for a five-year contract for 50 million masks a year for each year for the next five years. That's 250 million masks. So Premier Ford is telling us that he's buying in bulk, which is telling us that if he's, you're not going to waste the taxpayers' dollars, right? So Premier Ford is telling us that we're going to be wearing masks for the next five years. That's totally disturbing. So what the Premier is saying is that he is not tracking the virus. He's not looking to stop the spread. He's creating the crisis because it was supposed to be about the spread of the virus. But now it's about the economy. But listen to what Premier Ford says. And then we're going to take you over to the smiling Lisa Thompson. And then you listen to what she says. And I guarantee you that the people of Ontario will be disgusted. Listen. Listen clearly. And tell me if you do hear, just put a check mark. On this video, if you do hear Premier Ford says 50 million masks a year for five years and 50 new full-time jobs. That's what you're listening for. 50 million masks a year for five years and 50 new full-time jobs. I would like you to give a like or to send a signal that that's what you hear from Premier Ford. To announce today. We have signed a contract with PrimeMed to produce 15 million surgical masks a year over the next five years. PrimeMed has chosen Ontario to set up a new major medical manufacturing facility in Cambridge. So congratulations, Cambridge. This investment will create 50 new good paying jobs. All right. So did you hear that? 50 million masks a year for the next for each year. For five years and 50 new jobs. Is that what Premier Ford just says? So we're going to play this video out. And then you're going to hear what Lisa Thompson has to say. And you will be disgusted. This is great news. And we're going to keep making Ontario a great place to do business. So I want to thank Prime Ed for making this important investment in Ontario. With 3M setting up a new facility in Brockville to make millions of N95 respirators and thousands of ventilators rolling off the line thanks to Linamar and O2 Medical te Technologies. With these investments and with today's announcement, we are making sure that Ontario will never ever be left at the mercy of other countries and leaders when it comes to critical supplies we need. We have moved mountains to build and secure our own critical health supplies for our frontline heroes. And as we face the worst of the second wave, these investments have never been more important. Minister Thompson, Minister Bethenfalvey, and Minister Fidelli will share more details in a moment. But I want to quickly share some important news for small businesses. You can now apply for PPE grant today, up to $1,000 to purchase masks gloves, physical barriers, whatever you need to keep your workers and customers safe. We're also opening applications today for the $300 million rebate program to help small businesses with costs associated with property taxes and energy bills. This program will help those significantly impact 
by modified stage two restrictions or control or lockdown measures. To make the application process easier for businesses, there's now a single portal to apply for all these grants. We're building a stronger, more resilient Ontario, a province starting down the road to recovery and the best place in the world for businesses to invest and grow and thrive. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'll hand it over to Minister Thompson. So this is Minister Thompson. Now let's stick and stay focused on the point. Premier Ford says 50 million masks a year for five years that will create 50 full-time jobs. Anyone who disagree that that was what Premier Ford says, please make a comment. Now let's hear Minister Thompson. Thank you, Premier. PrimeMed has been an invaluable partner throughout the pandemic, and I am very pleased that we are taking this partnership to the next level. Over the next five years, PrimeMed will produce 50 million of the level one and level... Over the next five years, Prime Ed will produce 50 million level one and whatever mask. So Mr. Ford says 50 million a year for five years, 250 million mask. Minister Thompson says 50 million mask over five years. If that does not disturb you, that the minister and the premier with the beady eyes would be 200 million mask off in their announcement. But there's more. We're going to go back to Lisa Thompson, see if we can rewind it just a bit, and let's hear her full speech. To apply for all these grants. All right, so let's You're listen again. Stronger, more resilient Ontario a province starting down the road to recovery and the best place in the world for business, businesses to invest and grow and thrive. Thank you and God bless the people of Ontario. Now I'll hand it over to Minister Thompson. So here comes Minister Thompson and we want you to listen clearly to what she has to say. Now you can tell by the minister speaking that she's speaking from a teleprompter. I know say the premier was speaking from a teleprompter also, but aside from that, remember Premier Ford, the one with the beady eyes, says 50 million masks a year for five years, 50 jobs created. Let's hear what Miss Thompson has to say. Thank you, Premier. PrimeMed has been an invaluable partner throughout the pandemic. And I am very pleased that we are taking this partnership to the next level. Over the next five years, PrimeMed will produce 50 million of the level one and level two surgical masks we need to combat COVID-19. This will happen in a brand new facility that when fully operational, will employ upwards of 250 people producing surgical masks and N95 respirators. This Is that not disgusting? Are you not disgusted? Your premier says 50 million masks a year for five years, 250 million masks. And the minister says 50 million masks over five years. The premier says it will create 50 new full-time jobs. The minister says up to 250. That makes it the government what word would you use, my friends? You give a comment and use a word to describe that. Which government would you trust in that it would be off by 200 million? And when it comes to employment, why is the minister's number off by 200 in comparison to the BDI premier? I'm Kevin Clark the Deputy Leader of the Ontario People's Political Party. You have it here. This is from a CBC News. We will address Mayor Tory's description later, but we hope 
that the medias in Toronto will view this videotape and will listen back to Premier Ford's statement and listen back to Minister Thompson's statement. And before there is any more discussion on COVID-19, there must be a full, full explanation as to how the Premier's number and the Minister's number could be off by 200 million. God is with us.